physician has been exploring alternate universes. Rama asked, did you see all this from one spot where you were or did you roam about in space? Rama's got a very naive understanding here. His questions are based on the assumption of an external reality and that if you experience lots of different things then you must be moving around a lot. Just as this previous question was about the cosmic dissolution, he's asking questions based on the assumption that reality is some external physical thing which fits in with a certain model, a certain model of understanding. Vishishta replied, I had attained infinite consciousness then. In it there is no coming or going. I did not remain in one spot, nor did I roam about. I witnessed all this within the self which had assumed the form of what I witnessed. Just as you see your body from head to foot, with even closed eyes, thus I saw everything with the eye that is consciousness. So you might think, well this was all just imagination, it was all simply Vasishta's imagination. And you might wish to dismiss, dismiss it as such, just as you might dismiss a dream. But this is how our understanding of reality works. Our, real, our understanding of reality is no more than a story. We decide which story we want to give concrete validity to. Perhaps you're a creationist and you believe that the earth was created 10,000 years ago by God or some such time frame. Perhaps you're an evolutionist and for you the earth came into being some billions of years ago. Certain human species arose with it according to the rules of natural selection and this story makes more sense in terms of addressing a greater variety of questions or answers questions in a more satisfactory way for you. But these are all ideas. This is not reality if we understand reality as what is happening right here, right now. Any other understanding of reality is an idea about reality, a notion about reality, a notion which you want to keep polishing, keep burnishing, a notion which you want to cherish and protect. But that, not, that notion has got nothing to do with what is going on right here, right now. And what is going on right here and right now is intrinsically related to your awareness, to the fact that you're listening or looking at what we normally label as sensing and feeling then you're getting close to awareness, then you're getting close to reality. This is like the dream. Whatever is experienced in the dream is pure space or dimension of consciousness. We have no problem regarding a dream as a product of consciousness, even though we're unconscious at the time. But we can say it's a product of the mind. We see it's a product of the mind and our whole subjective experience is a product of the mind and our subjective experience is all we can know. It's all we can directly know. But then we create notions of objectivity which we're supposed to relate to and which we need to relate to for certain purposes. But we should always come back to the essential subjectivity because this is the only true reality. Everything else is of a dream nature. It's notional. Even now, on account of enlightenment, I behold all this. I am now one with all the enlightened beings. Consciousness is not something that can be compartmentalized. I know them all as my own self without the division of subject, object and observation, since the one consciousness alone exists indivisibly. 
So he could also say that he's one with all unenlightened beings as well. But enlightened beings, the thing about unenlightened beings is they've forgotten consciousness. They've forgotten their essence as consciousness.